I don't like to do any trip without having a, a light little flick stick rig along with me and this trip is no different. We're here in southern Angola at Flamingo Lodge. We're going to be fishing this area as well as going down to the Kuneni River area. I brought a little light flick stick with me, a little 7 foot pen Allegiance 2 spinning rod. Rig that with a, with a pen fierce 2 3000 size reel and we've got some 8 pound Fireline 8 on there. So let's just start with the rod, the Pen Allegiance 2, the 7 foot, it's a medium fast action rod. I like it because it's got a very light blank. When I'm fishing lures I use a lot of wrist movement. I actually like to impart a lot of the lures movement myself. I don't like inbuilt movement too much in lures, I much prefer twitching and that means using your wrist a lot all day and if a rod's heavy it gets very very tiring very very quickly. So that light black is nice then it's got just enough stiffness to be able to to give quite crisp action to the lure if you tweak the rod it doesn't all just get lost in the, in the slowness of the rod action it's nice and crisp the lure gets a nice nice tweak and then it's also got a reasonable amount of backbone for pulling quite hard on fish when you need to so the rod is all around a really nice little little stick that i would quite happily use in estuaries for light uh, surf fishing, gully fishing and any freshwater scenario. Another great feature on the Allegiant 2 rod is the fact that the guides, these are packed bay guides, they've got no ceramic inserts, they've actually just the whole guide is made of, of, of metal alloy. It means that they're fairly durable and tough. Often when you when you put a rod down on, on rocks or whatever, if you knock the, the ceramic guide Get a crack in it and it actually destroys your line and uh, you can lose fish and have line snap offs because of that so it's quite a good idea to have guides like this on a traveling rod something that can get knocked around a little bit and carry on functioning at 100 percent okay the pen fierce uh, reel is quite a, a basic little reel it's got a full metal body so it, it is tough and robust the spool there's a, a little rubber ring around the center of the spool so when you tie your braid on you don't get line slip on the spool. Most other reels you've got to actually put a bit of tape on or put a little bit of mono backing on. You don't need to do that with the, with the pen fierce. It comes braid ready. It's a good entry level reel to use for, for light saltwater work. It's tough, it's robust and uh, shouldn't let you down in any Fireline has always been probably the most abrasion resistant of all the super lights. And the new Fireline 8 is even more abrasion resistant than the previous lot. It's about four times tougher than the original Fireline. And it, uh, it's made from Dyneema fiber and it, uh, it has eight carriers, which, which is uh, double the number of carriers that the previous Fireline had and apparently under lab testing conditions it's up to four times more abrasion resistant. I used the eight pound here. I haven't actually tested it on a scale to see where it will break on a scale but just in pulling and trying to break it and, and pulling hard on fish I reckon it'll probably break at about 15 to 18 pounds in, in my opinion as long as you're not so good. What I do like about it because it's a non-woven braid it's actually very very smooth and it feels quite similar to monofilament. In terms of visibility to fish this clear sort of white color is very much like normal mono line so it's actually something you can get away with without using a leader just tie the, the bar line straight to your, uh, to your terminal. This morning we woke up the sea was flat the water is pretty cold and very very clean that's difficult fishing conditions for this area. You need more surf, you need more white water, and uh, we decided to focus on light tackle fishing this morning and see if we could scratch around the rocks and pick up fish. And I've tried some little bucktail jigs, some tiny spoons, and not a touch on that. And while I was doing it, my mate Warren was fishing with some gulp product, and he started catching fish. So I changed over, I put on a little Berkeley gulp, shrimp and straight away I got into a fish. 
the reasoning behind that, the gold products have got scent and flavor to them. So there's not only the movement that you're using to attract fish to get your bite, you actually, uh, even if that, that lure lies dead still on the bottom, the fish will eat it because it's got scent and it's got flavor. So it's, uh, it's highly effective. It's kind of a, a crossover, like a hybrid between bait and artificial lure fishing. I often sort of feel that if nothing's taking lures, you can fish with some of this gulp stuff with, uh, with a bit of confidence. We're fishing very light. I'm using a, a 1 6 ounce jig head. These Berkeley Nitro jig heads are absolutely fantastic. They use quality hooks, they use owner hooks. So even the very small ones are actually pretty strong and can handle quite decent fish. And uh, I like the shape that uh, the Nitro jig heads have because they've got almost sort of a boat keel shape in you. And you and twitch them and they dart beautifully in the water having a lot of fun when you're getting black tail of that sort of quality on the light gear almost at your feet they give you a really good pull just the perfect opportunity to use that specific equipment and it's paid off you've got something nice Here we go.